Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret How exercise is really for our brains Physical exercise turns our brains on and all the wonderful side effects that we get help our body be healthy. I learned about this school in Naperville, Illinois uh, in 2003 that led me to write my book, Spark, which has given me the purpose and mission of changing our education system, bringing back play and exercise as a treatment modality or as a stimulant modality for all of our kids and uh, all of us. Naperville had 19,000 students and they had evolved over a 20 year period this wonderful PE program that was fitness based and it was every day. So the kids were spending 45 minutes, all of them moving and grooving, was that some years before they had taken the TIMS test, the International Science and Math test that every country takes every three years to rate and see how they're doing on science and math. And the U.S. is usually in the low to mid-teens. Uh, and they took it as a country. And they came in number one in the world in science and number six in math. Now, what happens when we exercise is we turn on our front part of the brain, the last part of the brain to evolve. This is a part of the brain that's called our CEO of the brain or our prefrontal cortex where our uh, frontal executive functions are. And when we exercise, when we move, we turn that part of the brain on. As well, we create a lot of neurotransmitters that we aim at it with our psychiatric drugs. And we create another substance that we had just learned about called BDNF or brain derived neurotropic factor which I called miracle grow for the brain. Because when we fire our nerve cells, we make this stuff and this keeps our brain cells young and perky. One of the reasons why exercise is one of the best ways to prevent the onset of cognitive de decline and Alzheimer's disease, but it also readies our brain to be plastic. Now we need to have our brain cells grow to log in any new information. So exercise is a terrific way to improve the learner because it turns on the uh, attention system, it turns on the motivation system, it turns on the memory system, as well as it makes all of our little brain cells ready to, to grow and sprout. And that's the only way we learn anything. So my purpose, my mission is to go around the country and the world to, to tell people, look, exercise makes your brain better. It, make, it optimizes your brain's ability to learn. It, it helps with uh, regulate our, your emotions. It improves your motivation. And it's something that we have unfortunately been taking out of our schools. We need to reinvigorate our schools and get our kids out of their seats uh, and moving. So, thank you very much. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I don't Good morning So when I was in graduate school I was a runner And a friend and I decided that we were going to run the Boston Marathon And so we started training and we overtrained And I developed knee and back problems So I went to see a physical therapist And they told me that I had to stop running And instead I should just stretch Experience And so um, and there was a couple of studies demonstrating that you can actually detect this using machines like the MRI machine. The first study was with juggling. They took people who had never ever juggled before and they scanned them. And then they taught them how to juggle and they said, keep practicing for three months. Then they brought them back after three months and they scanned them a second time. 
can we just have, you know, can meditation change brain structure too? You know, that's something as, you know, as simple as, you know, juggling. What about meditation? So the first study we did, we recruited um, a bunch of people from the Boston area, and these were not monks or meditation teachers. These were just average Joes who on average practice meditation about 30 or 40 minutes a day. And we put them in the scanner, and we compared them to a group of people who are demographically matched, but who don't meditate. And what we found is this, that there were indeed several regions of the brain that had more gray matter in the meditators compared to the controls. Um, one of the regions I'm going to point out to you is here in the front of the brain. It's an area that's important for working memory and executive decision making. So the idea that I'd like to share with all of you today is that meditation can literally change your brain. Thank you. Finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless 